Let's talk about the remaining series of elements of food presentation. Let's understand the element color today. The best number of color combination on a plate would be either two colors or three colors. Too much of the color will make the plate look messy. For example, let's visualize the combination of pork chicken breast with mashed potato and steamed cauliflower. This looks monotonous and are not appetizing. Now picture roasted red peppers, grilled chicken, and the bed of herbs and sprinkle of green pesto sauce. It definitely looks appetizing. Many hot foods, especially meats, poultry, and fish, have little color other than shades of brown, gold, and white. It helps to select vegetables or accompaniments that adds color interest. This is the one reason why green vegetables are so popular. Garnish is often unnecessary, especially if the accompaniments have color, but it is very important in some cases. The classic American combination of broiled steak, baked potato looks monotonous, but the simple addition of healthy sprig of watercress or parsley makes it appealing. Let's talk about portion size. Portion sizes are another important aspect for food presentation, as well as it's a prime factor consideration for costing. Maths portion size and plates. Too small, a plate makes an overcrowded, tumbled, messy in appearances. Too large, a plate may make the portion look inadequate. Balance the portion size of various items on the plate. One item, generally a meat, poultry, or fish preparation, is usually considered the main item on the plate. It is the center of attention and is larger than the accompaniments. Don't let them, let the main item get lost along with the excessive garnish and use portion of vegetables and starch items. What about cooking methods then? It's different method of cooking, produces different results in the taste, appearances and texture of the food. One must avoid using food cooked with a single method of cooking on a single plate. Using same dishes cooked by different methods not only adds texture, but also adds different color and balance to the entire dish. Combination of hard and soft textures, smooth and rough types of the food together, adds an element of interest in the plate. Involve the cooking method that will help retain or intensify the natural colors of the food rather than discoloring them. The temperature, serve hot foods, on hot plates and cold foods on cold plates. Integration of flavor, shape, and texture on the plate. Let's talk about flavors. A right balance of flavor is very essential for the plate. A complete plate must comprise a main item, which can be a meat, vegetable, starches, accompanied with some sauce or garnishes. With the world coming closer, various types of ingredients are available in most of the markets. It is important to choose the flavor in such a manner that they do not clash with each other. Avoid creating a contrast of too many flavors on the same plate. It is a good idea to work with a maximum of three or four flavors in a dish at one time. There is a favorite saying, what grows together goes together. It is important to use the ingredient that grows in the same season. Sip has its own features. Another food presentation tip is to plan for a variety of shapes and forms as well as color. For example, you probably do not want to serve Brussels sprouts with meatball and new potatoes. Green beans and whipped potatoes might be a better choice for accompaniments. Cutting vegetables into different shapes give you a great flexibility. Carrots, for example, which could be cut into dice, rounds and sticks can be adapted to nearly any plate. And finally, we have the textures. Though not usually included in food presentation tips list because they are not strictly visual considerations, texture are as important in plating as in menu planning. Good balance requires a variety of texture on the plates. As texture is termed as the mouth feel, so it is very important to maintain the texture while making a good plate presentation. Thank you very much.